Alright, this run shows off the Hopo Bird plus Toad combo, plus Pterandon and 1-Up. It's actually just super fun. Hopo Bird, I don't know why it's such a fun unit. Maybe it's just because of Sniper, and Snipers are always fun. But it's like such a minimal amount of damage that can really add up when you apply weakness and 1-Up and get multiple triggers and everything. And this is done in the weekly pack, so this is the first uh, user-submitted weekly pack, and I guess they're going to be doing these a couple times a month from now on. And they're also doing like creator packs along with just like traditional weeklies. They're, they like kind of alternate. Uh, so the next one's going to be traditional and then there's a creator and then traditional and then a user submitted. They post it in the Discord if you want to keep up with that. But uh, yeah, just throw in round two to try to go late game just so I can get the perfect build going on. And there's the early Hopo Bird. 3-2, when it faints, it deals 2 damage to the first enemy and the last enemy, so 4 damage total. But, when you start to level it up, it can deal 4 damage twice, and then 6 damage twice. And if you get weakness with that, that's 9 damage twice. And if you add a 1-up, then you get to double it, you add in a Pteranodon, you get to triple it. So you can kind of see how it actually ends up being a significant amount of damage. And in this weekly pack, the main scaler is just T-Rex. Uh, oh, I should probably even mention that the theme of the weekly pack is a rainbow theme. If you, I don't know if I actually click the paw to see the pack at any point, but if you do that, you can see like the colorful combinations. There's a bunch of things you can do. You can do like red only, orange only, yellow only, green only, blue only, purple only, pink only. There's a bunch of different combos that you could try out if you want to. But um, it ends up being a fairly interesting pack. The only issue is that T-Rex is just like such an insane scaler. I would say T-Rex is probably the best pet in the game now. Um, it's free and it just buffs uh, tier 5s and tier 6s. And honestly, maybe they should go back to make it it costs like 2 or 3 gold. And it can still buff tier 5s and tier 6s. And it would probably still be a decent scaler. But the fact that it's free now, um, it does encourage pivoting. But pivoting becomes so absurdly good. And um, I guess that's okay, but yeah. So the Hopo Bird plus the Toad, pretty decent in the mid game, especially at level two here. Pretty happy with how things have gone, and I'm just finding so many Blobfish. So just really hoping to find a bunch of pills that will get me so many good levels. Ends up being a pretty fun custom pack weekly when you can just like level up stuff. Blobfish pill is so absurdly good. Crows, chocolates. There's no crow in this pack, but. I mean, uh, yeah, I guess it just ends up being more fun when you can actually get level 3s just for, like, the satisfaction. Even though it's not really that optimal to go for level 3s in most situations, it's optimal for fun had. Um, okay, the turtle kind of messes things up a little bit. It's going to lose that round. In the meantime, oh, okay, just instant level 3 Hopo Bird on turn 7. So early... And that's going to help out a lot with the dragonfly so that it ends up scaling. Take a Triceratops. Triceratops actually got a small buff since now her abilities also activate on death. So you automatically get 3-3. Three, three. Might make Triceratops move up in the tier list, which I should do. I should make a new tier list and rank all 200 whatever amount of pets in the game. And I'll probably condense it down into a very quick video, but... Um, I think that would be worth it because I keep saying like whenever there's new people in the game um, I think the easiest thing to do to give them initial advice is to just give them a tier list of pets That you probably don't want to take very frequently and pets that you usually want to take because that's just like a Very instant thing that you can kind of do just to give general advice and then like all the smaller stuff Which I was thinking about making more videos to actually improve at the game But I think I'll wait until ranked comes out which should be in the next update. And then hopefully there'll be a lot of people who are looking to actually like climb the rank ladder and improve and I can kind of do that um, because I am considered to be fairly decent at the game. Don't want to brag too much. In fact, I usually do the opposite. I say that I'm terrible at the game because a lot of times I am terrible at the game. Even if I'm like half decent right now, I still make plenty of mistakes. There's always room to improve. Tiger Hopo Bird, sure, why not? Um, really just looking for a Pteranodon, though, so that I don't have to get this Tiger to level 3, which is really annoying. I mean, Pteranodon is just so much better than Tiger. They did buff Tiger by making it have slightly better bu uh, stats, but for the most part, like, the only useful thing for a Tiger is, like, Tiger Leopard. I don't know if there's any other situation where you really want to go Tiger instead of Pteranodon. Maybe there is, but also you can Pteranodon with Blobfish, which would be absolutely perfect. That gets a pretty insane amount of levels. 
uh, taking Pepper on the toe just so it doesn't die to Croc. Although maybe I should have waited until I found Melon, but good enough for now. Um, and okay, just selling the Tiger for another Hopo Bird. When you have, you can never have enough Hopo Birds. The turn 10 Hopo Bird. Also, just a weird, what a word, Hopo? I don't know if I've ever heard that in my life. It sounds so, like, fictional. Like, what? I, I mean, there's so many species of animals that I've just never heard of because I only live in North America, and I guess there's a bunch of other places that exist in the world that have different species of animals. Who would have thought? That's pretty crazy. Um, now I can blobfish the Hopo bird. And it's looking pretty good. Eggplant is also pretty nice in the weekly since there's a decent amount of like cobras and um, snakes, I guess, as well. So just to kind of disrupt those teams. And uh, yeah, it ends up being a pretty decent thing to just put on a weak thing because it's not like you're going to put anything else on it, I don't think. He, there's no like steak. There's, uh, yeah, I guess that would kind of be it. There's the pill gets another... Uh, I think I was just hoping for a Hopo bird. That's a 40% chance, but it only costs one gold to really uh, risk that, so it ends up being kind of worth it. And there's the one up, perfect. I probably should have eggplant in the second spot actually and not leave the gap, because the only way they're gonna have chili is if they pill a tar, which is pretty unlikely. Um, kind of worked out for me there though. And yeah, so nine damage, the chip damage is really starting to add up. If we calculate it out right now, um, I guess, so 18 damage twice. Um, well, okay. Well, no, you get the weakness first. So, wait, no, it is it is 9 damage with the weakness. That's right. So 18 twice. And then uh, I can do math 7 twice. No, wait. You know what? Actually, I can't do math. I lied. I don't even, like, why bother? It's, uh... Uh, uh, just keep saying, uh, eventually something will come to mind. I mean, look how well the team's working. Isn't that impressive? Uh, it killed so many things. Another one up is perfect. Now, looking just to level up the Pteranodon and get this level 3 Hopo Bird. And the team is looking very good. And then eventually, I can sell the Dragonfly and actually put in another Pteranodon. Octo might be a good idea, but I just want to go full in on the Pteranodons and Hopo Birds. It's just such a beautiful little team. And again, I, I think the Eggplants made a, was pretty helpful there. It made it so it actually hit the Hippo with the strongest attack, and that ended up being pretty nice. And nice little uh, like interaction is that it does activate twice, even if there's only one pet left. So you get to deal double damage to that last pet, which is good. And chocolates for the Pteranodon. If I find a pill, then I actually get to pill the Blobfish and get double value, which is pretty nice. But next turn is going to be the last one. And I might want to find another eggplant just in case, because my team kind of dies to Cobra pretty hard since it could snipe the Pteranodon. And so the weakness. So much damage. Oh, yes, it's beautiful. The Toad, I guess, would be nice to have at level 3, so it would apply weakness to the last pets. Um, level 2 Pteranodon, then I guess I can buy, sell Blue Ringed Octo. I could maybe buy, sell that as well, just in case I get another Blue Ringed Octo. Um, but then I wouldn't have, uh, gold to roll there. And there we go, I actually do find the Eggplant, so that could help out a decent amount. And look at this team, it's so beautiful. Double level 3 Hope Over, double Pteranodon. Unfortunately, I run into Croc, ruining my like beautiful experience of having such a perfect team. But it doesn't even matter because I beat them anyway, even without the Toad and the other Pteranodon. Just what a perfect team. Uh, really, yeah, that's, uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. See ya.